Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is probably a different setting because I'm shooting this on my phone. Um, I had originally shot this on my laptop of my camera, only for me to find out my microphone wasn't working. So I have to go get that checked out and find an AV cord for my camera. Dear Jesus, I'm going to Walmart today to get that done so we can actually film on my camera. But anyway, this is my spoiler review for Creed 2. I've been looking to do this for <laughs> ever since I saw the movie on Wednesday. I saw it on Wednesday. I saw it yesterday. If you guys follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, you know yesterday the power went out at the mall. So literally right before the third act was about to start, the fight was about to start, the second one, the power just went out. I'm just like so salty, but I got two free movie tickets. So I'm definitely probably going to use one to see it later this week and... The other one I'm going to say for Aquaman, y'all, because those tickets are going to be booked. So, Creed 2 spoiler review. If you have not watched the movie, go watch my non-spoiler review that I recorded when, on Thursday. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, Creed 2 basically pick up three years after um, Creed 1. Adonis Creed is basically the new heavyweight champion. He is on top of the world. Um professionally and personally he got engaged to Bianca which the proposal was just so cute I'm just like I'm gonna cry I, and I fucking cried I swear because I missed it the first time I went to go see it because I was running late and then the second time I went to go see the movie I saw it and I was just crying the whole time because you know with her, her hearing loss is getting worse I'm just like dear god I don't know how I'm gonna take it but yeah everything's going good he got his Mustang back from <laughs> Oh, do he fought in the first movie and everything's gonna do good until the Dragos decide to come to town and challenge him to a fight. Now, if you have not um, followed the Rocky franchise, basically, Ivan Drago killed Apollo Creed in Rocky IV. Rocky got his revenge, avenged his death and beat Drago. Drago basically was basically shunned and asked by Russia. All these years, he's been training his son to be the best fighter. And now that they see that Adonis Creed is the world champion, they want to challenge that. And y'all already know, there's already beef in this. So we are just like, oh, shit's about to go down. So right now, Adonis is in the middle of like a standstill because we, we get it. We, you want to avenge your dad's death, that, that is all for you. But, you know, there's still that, you know burden on his shoulders that he feels he has to live to a legacy but he's already making his own so we see the first fight and he gets his ass kicked and it's it's bad i mean i mean basically victor's disqualified but you know he you basically he still has his title but emotionally he feels defeated and he gets it he goes to a dark place y'all it's dark for a good bit of the movie and it isn't until um basically he's back in the gym and he's trying to comfort his daughter that he gets the urge to fight again. And I just love that part. That was one of my favorite parts of the movie. Um, he goes to train with Rocky because Rocky didn't want to train him in the first fight. Because he feels like history will repeat itself. Because he was there when Apollo died. He's still carrying that guilt to this day. So he go he takes Adonis to the desert for them to train for this fight. I don't know what time frame. I think like one or two months. And basically Adonis kicks ass. You know, Vic not Victor, Ivan Drago throws in the towel, and basically, you know, he, Adonis wants to fight, and, you know, basically, a summary, kind of a quick summary. Now, we also have several subplots going on, um, Adonis and Bianca, they're engaged, they find out she's pregnant, and, you know, there's that worry that the baby might have inherited her progressive hearing loss, and, you know, during this time when, He's trying to recover from the fight. He's very distant from her, and she wants to be there for him. But at the, you know, she took some advice from his mom. Basically, it's like you need to let him figure it out on his own because he's in a dark place. And then they can figure it out together. Now, I kind of wish they kind of included a little bit of more of those scenes because I feel like they included a little bit of that in the trailers. But I feel like they took it out for time's sake. So I think in the extended director's cut, we're gonna get that. So we do see him become a father. They have a baby girl named Amara, but she does have her mom's progressive hearing loss, and this devastates them. And let me just say, Tessa Thompson in this scene had me just like, wow. Because you see her as a mother devastated, and at the same time, she finds the strength for herself to be strong for her daughter and just be like, look, 
it's gonna be hard, but I got you. Me and your daddy, we got you. Okay, I will be there. And I'm just like, this is supposed to be the happiest day of your life, and then you just turn to the worst. I'm just, oh my god, I cried during that scene too, man. My goodness, but yeah, uh, towards the end of the film, we do see the baby with um, hearing aids. So it kind of shows like, okay, they're in a situation now. They're going to make it work. They're a family. They're going to work it out. I'm just, I'm so happy. Just their little family is just so cute. My goodness. But yeah, hopefully if we get a Creed 3, we're going to see that progression. Um, other storylines, Rocky, um, he's kind of more supporting character in this movie. Um, I also forgot the point in the beginning. This is more of a Creed movie than a Rocky movie. I feel like the first Creed was more of, hey, this is Rocky training the son of Adon of Apollo Creed. And then with Creed 2, it's more of a Creed-centered film. Like, okay, this is handing the torch over to the next generation. This is the person that is going to be center of the focus on this franchise. So, yeah, Rock is a supporting character. And, you know, basically he's still dealing with his own issues. He's still holding on to the past. And, you know, he finally goes to see his son and his grandson. And I forgot Milo was in this franchise. I'm just like, wait a minute. I was like, Milo, you don't got a beard. I'm like, dang. I'm just like, wow. Damn. Like, Jack, I, I just keep thinking of Jack when I look at him. I'm just like, wow. And I forgot he was even on This Is Us. I'm just like, wow. You were on This Is Us, and here you are in Creed 2. I'm just like, wow. I completely forgot y'all were in this franchise together. So, yeah, there's that. Um, Felicia Rashad is in this again. She did a great job in this. Um... I want to put, like, an emphasis on how, how um, a lot of stuff is addressed in this. This is just a boxing movie. It's also a, a dramatic movie about, basically, family and, you know, what you're fighting for, what you have to lose. Um, with Adonis, he's fighting for his father's legacy and his own legacy. And then you have Drago, um, Victor Drago, fighting for the love of his father and kind of him being having the pressure of his father, like, wanting to regain the love and respect of the country of Russia. So it's, like, a lot going on. And I read a Cosmo article, like, reviewing the movie, and how it basically shows toxic mascul masculinity and how it's being broken down. And I actually saw that. I actually saw that. Initially, I was like, really, toxic masculinity? That's from me reading the title. I, I should have read it before. But I read it, and I was like, okay, this makes sense. Because, you know, in the beginning, you know, a lot of toxic masculinity is in there. But then we see what's broken down with these men. I'm just like, okay, it's cool. We good. Okay. So let me just spotlight um, Tessa Thompson. Tessa Thompson did a bomb-ass job in this movie. Especially in the third act when she sings, I will go to war. I'm like, girl, you recorded that in the studio, didn't you? You recorded that in the studio, and now you're singing it while your husband comes, walks out the ring. I'm like, girl... That is wifey goals. I said it in the theater. Wifey goals right here. And I feel like, this is a little theory of mine, I feel like what they cut, I think, was when... Because I know they had in the trailers, they cut, like, two scenes, like, one with them, like, after he proposed, and then one with the baby. I feel like they got married and eloped in Vegas. I feel like they eloped in Vegas... And they kind of cut it out because, like, you know what? We don't want to, like, do, like, a big thing. We want to actually show them, like, getting married. But I feel like maybe, little theory, we may maybe get a wedding, like, in Creed 3. Maybe. Maybe when Amara's, like, one. Because let me tell you, if you if you make it, like, 10 years they together and they just not getting married, Amara's, like, in elementary school, you're going to have those aunties be nagging. So, yeah. Whoo, man. This ba that baby was so freaking cute. Like, I know they use, like, stand-in babies. They subbed in, like, three babies during this whole movie, I, I remembered. They had a newborn baby. They had the baby, like, for the phone. And then they have the main baby that we see in the last scene. So, yeah. I really hope we see that, too. Oh, my gosh. My favorite scenes overall. The montage in the desert. That was freaking dope. Makes me want to go back to the gym. Also, the second fight was just, like had me just on the edge of my seat, just, like, holding my fist and just, like, oh, my God. Like, that was really dope. If I had to choose a spotlight moment for, like, every actor, I think with Michael B. Jordan, who freaking got double red for this movie, I feel like his spotlight moment would be when he's in the gym with his daughter and he's finally letting out the pain and the grief and just, like, let the burden off his shoulders. And also with his talk with Rocky at the house and, you know, saying why he wanted to fight and 
why he is in this place where he is right now. Um, Tessa Thompson, I said it before, the scene in the hospital, man, oh my God, that had me, that had me hurting. That had me hurting. Also, there's a scene together where he decides to go with the second fight. I'm just like, whew, my God. And also her walk-in scene with her song, that was great. Um, Sylvester Stallone, probably when they're talking about, like, <clears throat> taking the first time, first time with the fight, he's like, he broke things in me that can't ever be fixed. And y'all remember, he, he has brain damage, man. He had cancer. Like, Rock has been for so much. I mean, honestly, I'll get into that later. Who honestly, this movie is a solid 8.5 out of 10. I would have liked to see more. I would have liked to see more in between the scenes that kind of like felt like a quick jump. I felt like we could see more of Adonis' recovery as well as him, you know, getting ready to be a father. Like, I feel like we jumped into that so fast because I'm just like, I know y'all worked it out. I'm cool. I just want to see what happens. And then, um, I know there was one scene they cut, like, right after the fight is over. I kind of wanted to see that scene, too. I saw it online, but you can guys go look it up. Now, people are already starting to talk about Creed 3. So I'm like, y'all, can you get us, let us go for the weekend? But at the same time, you got to think about it. Because right now, with all the buzz in domestically and all the buzz internationally, it's going to do probably way more than the sec than the first one. Um, expected all-time box office, I think over 400 by best estimates. So, yeah, I see that happening. Um, if we do get a Creed 3, you know, people want to bring up, um, Mr. T's character's kid. I was like, yeah, you can't repeat that a second time. But I do see probably maybe a time jump. Maybe we can time jump in five years. You know, Adonis is, you know, has her, his own legacy. He has an established career. Him and Bianca are married. They have another kid, probably one who's hearing. You know, we see Amara, she's five. You know, they're raising two kids. You know, one's hearing, one's not able to hear. You see that dynamic. You see Rocky, who's, you know, gotten way more better relationship with his son. You know, we see Adonis have a challenge with a new fighter. And, you know, this is different. But also, I feel like if there's a Creed 3, I feel like Rocky has to die in that one. I know I'm probably going to get hate for it, but I feel like Rocky has to die in the third one because I think three movies is enough. And I feel like Rocky has, you know, has served his purpose, done his time. We passed the mantle already. We've already eased the progression in. And I feel like with the, if there's a third one, when it does come out, I feel like Rocky has to die towards the end because that's the closing of Rocky's story. I feel like Rocky's story is you know, slowly coming to an end with this one. So, yeah. Creed 2 had a perfect ending. Um, oh, yeah, my favorite scene also, when he goes to see his dad's grave. That's my favorite scene, too. And uh, people are saying maybe 2020, but y'all, I mean, we can get Steven back, but Ryan, he's going to be working on, like, Black Panther 2 for the next, like, year and a half and <laughs> next two years. And we don't know when that's getting released. So, it, and I have a theory, Killmonger might be back. I don't know, but... I don't know. Y'all pushing it with this 2020. I mean, I'm cool with... I'm expecting 2021, but if 2020 can happen, then I am here for it. I mean, it's election year, so I'm probably going to go see a movie to make me feel better. So, yeah. That's my spoiler review of Creed 2. It's kind, it was not, it's not really a structured review. I Honestly, I recorded this review on a separate thing, and literally, it had no audio. Like, I'm just... I'm just improvising with my phone right now. So anyway, I hope you guys like this review. Let me comment um, down below what movie you want me to review next in my little channel. Uh, subscribe to the channel below. Hit the notification girl bell. <laughs> Y'all, my words are so messed up today. Should go up, peace out. My love, and have an awesome week. Bye.